Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we're going to do Irish whiskey. You know why? Why? Because we missed St. Patrick's Day. We did miss St. Patrick's Day. And I even asked him, I said, can we no. do an extra video? And he goes, I'm busy. I'm too busy. I got Matt Madness. He's I lying. got this. We He's got the lying. tournament. No. Well, so <laughs> with, with our uh, Bourbon Madness schedule, we were doing Monday, Friday, and the Friday yeah. conflicted with St. Patrick's Day. I know. I said, I told you, I said, if you want to do a Saturday, we can do a Saturday. And you were like, no. <laughs> so we're doing it now instead. And that's all right. So, you know, he, he did go my way a little bit, and he said, you know, let's just do it the next Wednesday. And I'm happy with that. So today, we're doing Irish whiskey, and Trenton, we're doing my favorite genre of Irish whiskey, which is pot still Irish whiskey. What is is are the spots pot still? Yes, there's yeah. several. The power spots, red breast. There's several. So today we're going to go through all the core releases of red breast. And this will be interesting because I know nothing <laughs> this about, be fantastic. about red breast. If you like this kind of stuff, let us know because I've got all the spots over there too. We can review. We got a lot Japanese. of stuff we can do. Stuff. Oh boy, you're going to bring that up, aren't you? Yeah, I got to work. You on got that a lot of comments about that. I can't let you. Live I got to work down. on. That. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into it because we've got, as you can see, a couple. Yeah. We've got a couple to get over. So there's three things you need to know, Trent, about pot still Irish whiskey. Yeah. All right, and red breast in particular. Let's just say that red breast. All right. It's it's actually distilled. Its mash bill is is uh, malted and unmalted barley so when you talk scotch single malt it's not your bag you know what i mean yes. that's a hundred percent malted barley for a single malt scotch okay where this is roughly 50 50 50 percent unmalted 50 percent malted okay. so hopefully that might help out a little bit it is triple distilled in their traditional pot stills like tito's yeah yeah man <laughs> triple distilled hopefully better than tito <laughs> right <clears throat> excuse me also all of these, except for a couple, are tweaked just a little bit. All of these are aged in ex bourbon and in ex sherry casks, and then blended together. Okay. And when we get to the one, there's a couple in there they tweak just a little bit for, the, but the majority of them is they are aged in ex bourbon and ex sherry casks. Cool. All right. Yeah. So let's go here to the right. I kind of went by price, like I like I usually do trends. So over here on the right is Redbreast 12 year. All right. Obviously, it's aged 12 years, and it is roughly about sixty bucks. Okay. Here's my only here's my only downer for Red Breast Twelve Year. It's eighty proof. Oof. Yeah. That one's eighty proof. So not speaking my language on that one. <laughs> I know. Boy, the nose is nice. It is. I see. That's why I really love pot still Irish whiskeys because you can see in there it's fruity, it's toasty, toasty. That's it's a good. little nutty. It's kind of yeah. almost like almond type. I was thinking like a paper towel smell, but I can I can go with everything you just said. Paper towel. How do you get paper towel? Honestly, it's like uh, maybe it's like the woody woodiness. It's like paper's made from wood. Yeah, there's definitely yeah. some woody notes, yeah. and you'll and you'll see that through the line. I like that actually. actually. Yeah. What do you think? I'll say. For four and eighty proofer, mm -hmm. usually not my bag. I'm with you, but this mine, has, mine has a surprisingly nice flavor profile. Yeah, I don't I, hate it. No, it, it all through the lineup for me, it is very fruity. You know, and then orchard fruits, things of yeah. that nature. It is. It is. You get some toasted oak in there and a little bit of honey. It's my like opinion. if you were to walk into a Bath and Body yeah. Works kind of thing. With the bar, with the barley, you're going to get some cereal notes too here and there as you yeah. go through the lineup. Hmm. But I think it's pretty solid. How, that was how much again? Sixty bucks. About sixty bucks. Yeah, not bad. So that, was, not bad yeah. on the price. Now there's a couple of them we'll get to. Is like, ooh, how much? But sixty bucks for the twelve years, not bad at all. Maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit too much. But sure. are, are are all these eighty proof or like in the eighties? No, that's the only one. Okay, cool, perfect. You're jumping the gun. <laughs> I know. I usually do. <laughs> all right, this next one is Red Breast Lustow Edition. Lustow. Okay. Here's the deal: with that it's non age stated, right? It's the same. Aging process, however, it is vatted and then rebarreled in bodega lustau sherry barrels and finished for an additional year in those sherry barrel in those sherry barrels. Okay. So it has an additional year of of aging finishing process just in those bodega lustau sherry barrels. Boy, so this one is 92 proof. Okay. And this one's roughly around 70 bucks. Okay. 
So not too bad there either. I would have like before you even said anything, I would have assumed with the orange cap that this was like an orange finish or like a curacao or some kind of finish yeah. like that. But yeah. So yeah. I was a little bit worried because you know that's not usually my thing either. <laughs> no, mine either. I tried that once, remember? Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't go well. Boy, that proof elevation is mm -hmm. really nice with this. Ninety-two Whoa. proof, and that's and that's my wheelhouse for single malt scotch. And I'll also say here for this Irish whiskey, for Irish whiskey, you get that ninety-two proof range. Perfect for me. Perfect for me. I dig that. Now. With the addition of the extra finishing process with the sherry, you're getting a little bit more on the figs and prunes along with the other stuff that yeah, you yeah. had going on there yeah. with the, with the twelve year. Okay. So you're you're you, it's it's a lot more complex sip for me, you yeah. know, with a little bit more of the figs and prunes and things that. It's kind of like dirty, <laughs> like if you were to pluck a like a prune or a fig right out of the ground and eat it. It's dirty. not not in a bad way, you know, but there's there's something that's a little bit different there at the end, like a. Bitter dirt, something a little earthy, I, yeah. I like it though, yeah, yeah, earthy. That, that yeah, maybe, right? <laughs> I like that though. All right, this next one might be right up your alley, okay? Maybe, Castor, yes, it is. Yes, okay. it's it's just basically the 12 year cast strength form. Okay. That's all. I think each bottle, you know, each batch might be a little bit different. This bottle is 112.6 proof, and this one's going to be roughly around $85. Now, I will tell you this too, as well. This one is non chill filtered, okay? All right. I've been a huge fan of all these noses. It's a little bit like a, a honey butterscotch action going on. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You get a lot of honey with the barley. I love that. Wow. Yeah. Some cereal notes. This one really, this one doesn't have as much uh, toasted oak as the 12 did on the nose and stuff, but this one does. And with all the proof hounds that are out there now, as you as as you can tell, this Kelsey is... Kelsey is charged. Yeah. <laughs> right. And there's, there's so many out there. Let's, let's face it. I'm not really one of them, but there's a lot of them out there. And so this is very popular, right? One twelve, you said. One twelve point six. Okay. Yeah. The the palate for me, I don't know about you. I guess because you haven't tasted it yet, but is so different than the nose. Mm -hmm. It's it's really kind of surprising mm -hmm. to me. It doesn't drink like a hundred and twelve proof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up until this point, I don't know that I would have purchased the last two, but this one, it's like red fruit. Yes, I'm definitely getting the red fruit, but I'm getting some barrel spices there too. You know, with that spicy notes and barrel yeah. spices. And I'm getting a little vanilla on the back end of that, too. I can see it. It's not, like with a bourbon, it's not that char note. It's just a little, like a, like, I don't even, like a barrel note. I don't mm -hmm. know really how to describe it. Maybe yeah. a little bit oaky. Yeah. But it's not, it's not like clashing with any of the other no. flavors in it. No. That's my favorite so far. Is it? Well, that's shocking. If you can get better than that, <laughs> I'll, I'll pay you Well, let me just put it to you this way. This next one coming up. Might be my favorite. Okay. It's very well, very well possible. It's the 15 year. It's 92 proof again. Okay. Okay. 15 year, same, same aging process. All that's the same, right? As we spoke to at the beginning of the video. This one is also non chill filter, but this one's going to run you about a hundred bucks. Something close to that. I cannot get, as soon as I smelled it, I, I knew that I, it's like a food or like a bake, bake something. I've made it before, but I can't figure really? out really what it is. But I, I just get orchard fruits abundance on here and maybe even like a cobbler type note on the nose, Trenton. It's like kind of bready. Mm -hmm. Like a yeah, big bread. Yeah. Oh, like a big a bread with peach marmalade on it. Strawberry toaster strudel kind of. Sure. Yeah. Strudel. Sure. It smells flaky. I get more peachy than anything else, but yeah. Really? Straw, yeah, yeah. But oh, now that you say that, I'm, <laughs> I'm, get some peach. I'm not usually a peach I'm, fan. I apologize. Ruined it for me, I apologize. Really. No. I'm sorry, man. You keep on going with your, with your strawberry shrew. <laughs> I was laughing too much. I didn't get much of the flavor. <laughs> kind of just went, went in and down. Mm -hmm. That is drinks well below the 92 proof. It is extremely smooth, luscious fruit notes. I mean, come on, man. It um, is there a cast strength version of the fifteen? No. Is that next? Dang it. No. I, think I, I don't know. I don't know about solid. any special releases they might okay. have or whatever. Just as just their core range. Uh, I lost what I was going to say. So, <laughs> man, that's that's nice though. I can see what you're saying though. If if there was a cast strength in that in a fifteen year, wow. 
That would be incredible. It's so like it's silky. Yes. Beautiful mouthfeel. Yes. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. I still get a little bit of the wood notes. They're yeah. definitely there. But the luscious, it's just a luscious orchard fruit note that I just can't get over. It's really, really nice. Um I don't know about you, but since I'm a little bit more sensitive to that that malted barley, I think it's it's coming through a little bit more on this one for me than than these two did. Okay. I, I didn't expect it with this one with the proof. Okay. I don't know if it's like the age that's kind of bringing that Very out. Very possible. Or because like is is this the same as like this one or this one just with Correct. a higher age statement? Yes. Okay. I, I definitely didn't get as much malted barley in this one than I did this one. But still, yeah, but I could drink it. It's really good. The finishing process is going to help right. hide that That's as right. well over here. Finished, yeah. But yeah, still. Yeah, I get it. There's going to be a little bit of barley notes that you're not quite used to in drinking yeah. bourbon. Let's face it. This isn't caramel, vanilla, no, it's brown not. sugar, and molasses. It's just not. It's not anything to do with quintessential whatsoever. And it's different. I it's actually his own animal. Like it. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really, really neat. All right, we're going to move on down to the 21 year. Now, Trenton, here's where it's going to get a little Ooh. expensive on you. Okay. All right. This one, again, is 92 proof. For the 21 year, but from and I bought these two quite a while ago. I remember you bought them like okay. three or four years ago. I think so. All I all I can go by with pricing is what I saw online, and I'm think I'm seeing around 300 bucks. I know I didn't pay that. 21? Yeah, that's wow. Please let us know if I'm wrong about that. I just found that information online, and it's an average of what I saw. Interesting. And I know I didn't pay that. I think I paid close to 200 dollars for it, which is still a lot of money. Yeah. But it's a 21 year old whiskey. But that's what that's what I found huh, is about three hundred bucks. So it's a little bit pricey, but again, it is twenty one years old. <laughs> this is the first one that I get like a, a caramel yes. from. I would I would I knew as soon as you said oh, I need to stop talking first. <laughs> it's you're right though. There's a light caramel there. It's not deep and dark. We're not doing bourbon. It's not deep and dark. Yeah. But there's definitely a light caramel in there for sure. Is it mixing with butterscotch, or am I making things up? No, there's. It's all on the lighter side. There's a lighter, the lighter profile, but I could definitely see butterscotch for sure. Okay. For sure, that's super nice. Mm. What? <laughs> to me, that that caramel, a little bit of caramel butterscotch, follows suit on the palate, and. It's more on the back end on this one that I'm getting that really nice fruit note. A little bit of a cereal note there, too. That that barley, for me, in this one, it's even more more kind of front and center than, than okay. this one. Okay. It's interesting, though, because it, it almost overpowers, to me, a little bit more of the fruity kind of flavors that you'd get from it. So I think, like, if you were to twist my arm and say, hey, you got to pick the 21, sure. the 15, sure. go with the 15, sure. which for my wallet, fantastic choice. And I get that. I get that. Wow. You know, uh, I'm going to move on down the line because we don't have a whole lot of time to go through all these. But this is the Mac Daddy, buddy. This is a 27 year. Okay. All right. Now I know you're a big fan. I love that bottle. I really, really do. And unfortunately, I'll probably only buy one. But here's the deal with that one. All right. Oof, you're getting low. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm milking it as best I can. <laughs> here's the deal with that one. It's got the same aging process. However, they also age some distillate in ruby port barrels as well. So not only does it have X bourbon, X sherry, but it also has X ruby port in the blend for the 27 year. This one also is cast strength. Oh, okay. 109. My bottle's 109.2 proof. They may vary. I'm not sure, but my bottle's 109.2 proof. Now, here's the kicker. I know, and I'd have to look. I think we had this in a video a long time ago, and yeah, I probably I set a price, and I don't remember, <laughs> but it's expensive. It, it's expensive, for sure. But what I'm seeing online is basically around 600 bucks is what I'm seeing online. And I know, and I don't know if you've seen it. I don't look for it because I'll probably not buy it again. I'm so happy that I had it once, but it's one of those that I probably won't purchase again because of the price point. It's, But, however... I'm almost positive I paid somewhere in that 450 to 480 range. I saw it late last year in, in a store, Michigan maybe Illinois for like okay. 475. Okay, but well, then thanks. you got the Illinois tax and stuff. You're sure. paying about 500 bucks. Sure. All, all I saw was what was online. I didn't know if that was the increase in price or like. I'm sure that's what probably two to three years old. Yeah. Oh, something yeah, like that. Definitely. So I'm sure I paid in that 425 to 475 dollar range. 
Okay. Somewhere in there, which is still expensive. Right. It's yeah. expensive, but it's but it is twenty seven years old. Yeah. It is twenty seven years old. I love the nose on this. <laughs> this is one of those pores, Trenton, and I say it quite often, but this is one of those pores, and, and that's why I can feel okay about purchasing that for the money, right, honey? We can feel okay about that for this one, right? Right? Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a yes. Sure is mean yes, right? Because I'll, I'll keep it, I'll share it with, with friends that come over that want, you know, something a little bit special. But I can legitimately take an ounce of this and spend an hour with it. I really, really can. It's just that good for, to me. To me it is. That is... The nose is, is toasty, it's oaky, and it's extremely fruity. One of the most unique <laughs> noses. And I, I already tasted mm -hmm. it because I had to go in. I, mean, You're I don't want to say you were talking too much. but uh, I probably was because <laughs> I, I really, I really, really love this bottle. This is the first time I've had this. So, yeah. I don't drink your expensive stuff down here. You should. I drink your expensive stuff. <laughs> you do, that's <laughs> yes, true. Yes, I do. Why have nails on it? <laughs> so, at any, at any rate, Trenton, for me, this is one of the most unique whiskeys I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah, I don't even I mean, know is that I'm safe tasting. to say for you two as well? I could. I have one note. And it may be great for some and maybe not so much for others, and yeah. I would understand that, but it is extremely unique. What's your note? Dusty. Yeah, it, it, like I get, I can definitely see the port influence because it's it's really like a concentrated, rich kind of flavor. Yes, and it, it's it's a nice to me kind of a, a dusty finish. Dare I say maybe a little bit like of a mossy kind of kind of a finish, but it's it's such a well balanced pour, especially for being that old. Normally, when you get something this old, it's, especially in like the bourbon world. Mm -hmm. First of all, you don't get anything this old, but it's it's very over oaked. It's very mm -hmm. maybe not so good, mm -hmm. but this, yeah, for me on this one, Trenton. I I mean I could do this in my sleep because I just love this bottle of it. But it, to me, it has an extreme. It's dusty. Yeah, I can I can definitely go with you there. Past that, there's there's an extremely vibrant fruit note there it's it's like a very bright red fruit or even on the hinge of a grapefruit i can see grapefruit it i mean me that i mean almost a to a citrusy grapefruit yeah, i can note. see that that's why i say it it's absolutely so unique and then i get some cinnamon i get that lovely toasted oak that warms everything up in the glass and a little bit of vanilla there too I don't get, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I don't get any of the cinnamon or like the warming, as you might <laughs> well, say. The, and, and that will help you find the warming when you, when you try to do hand motions like this. How do I do that uh -huh. when I'm drink when I'm That's sipping something? <laughs> That'll help you. <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is my favorite of this lineup, hmm. but it's very good. Yeah. The, the price point for me, you know, that's, I think that's tough yeah. for anybody to swap. It, it is. It is. And again, I've had several bottles down here. As you know, Trenton, they're one-time purchases for yeah. me. It's just the way it is. They're expensive. I was happy to have them. I enjoyed them immensely. I, I, I took a lot of time with them. I, share, I had beautiful moments with, with friends and family that came down and were able to try some of these bottles. So that's one of them for yeah. sure. But to me, I have to exclude that when we talk to our favorites about our favorites and everything because it's 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 one of a kind. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those anomalies in this lineup that you really can't speak of. For me personally, the fifteen year is my is my favorite. What do you think mine is? The twelve year cast strength. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> and I, exactly. you know, I didn't have to think long and hard about that, but you know, I, I hope at least this little exercise we did with red breast and you're tasting some of my favorite. Irish whiskey style, which is the pot still. Yeah. And, and tasting the red breast lineup, there's a lot to offer in, in Irish whiskey. There is. I, I actually might go out and buy the, the 12 year cast drink now because I, I actually really enjoyed that one. Mission accomplished. Oh, no. I had, <laughs> I put this on, I put the 12 year on International Whiskey Day on Facebook and Instagram, right? Uh -huh. And I had one guy say that you, that you might call off work tomorrow and not come in to do this. <laughs> My boss watches now, so I can't call off work. Today. No, no, no. Call off the show. Oh, hey, oh. Kurt, I'm sick. I can't make it to this video. If I knew, actually, I knew we were doing this today, so I can't say that. I, I wanted to, actually, but but I got to let you have the episode sometimes. So. Yeah, but 
Are you happy? At least you will taste it. Yeah, it was it was yeah, an interesting for experience. Sure. I would definitely pick up one, maybe two of these if I see them. But. Absolutely. I, I'm always I'm always loving to to broaden horizons. You, you have to look at everything, and, and like I always say, and this is just me. You know, when people ask me, I say, what's your favorite whiskey? And I always say, my problem is I like them all. Yeah, you do. And I do. So you might want to try something different. You never know what you could love if you don't try it. Right. And next time we're going to be doing the Malort lineup. So it'll be a good video. I'm in. You never know. I might like that too. There's only one. (laughs) That's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, let us know. We could do some more of this. I've got the spot sitting up there. Powers, I got all kinds of Japanese. Irish whiskey, Japanese whiskey. We got scotch. We got it all down here. Not at Trenton's house. No. Only down here. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time. We're right down here with Trenton and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. Mm-hmm.